Hey guys, it's Kenny, and welcome back to another Kenny Crossing video. I'm happy to say I am back here on my channel making a new video for you guys. This will be about the museum build in just a moment, but I just wanted to say I am a little bit sorry that I have been gone for so long. I just have work and school and they both kind of piled up on me so I really haven't been able to make videos and I appreciate all of you guys that have been here for me and I am excited to say that I am hopefully going to be making a ton more videos in this new year. I might be a little bit slow at it but I know I'm gonna get the work done. All right I don't want to take too long but I just want to say I love you guys and thank you guys so much for sticking around. I'm so excited to get back into making videos and creating super fun content for everyone. Again I just wanted to say thank you for sticking around. All right, let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's Kenny and welcome back to another Kenny Crossing video uh, again. Um, but I am so excited to say that we are doing the museum build today and also part of the beach to add more sciencey science things into the build. I am so excited to share this build with you. It's super cozy and quaint and in the very back of my island. If you guys like Animal Crossing content like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out my giveaway in this iCard right here. All right, let's get into the video. Of course, as per usual, we are bringing up the island designer to start building all of our beautiful little cliffs that are going to be surrounding the museum and as you can see this is kind of in the very back of the island right behind soggy froggy falls and we're also going to be building to that little left portion i just showed with the beach now i am only going to be making cliffs kind of flush with the museum and then off to the right they're going to kind of jut out and off to this left portion here they're going to jut out a little bit but i just wanted to add more height to the museum and kind of match how tall it is and make sure it wasn't just like a gaping background where you can see the ocean will be more ocean pretty built later but yep i'm just filling in all of the cliffs and making sure it's how i want before we get into other terraforming I also wanted to jump in and say I did connect kind of soggy froggy falls with this area back here to kind of like separate it a little bit and I'm going to build a little bit more up on top of these cliffs. I'll do a little bit of decorating right now but I'm going to finish them up in a later video. Okay, now that the cliffs are looking all nice and snazzy, we are going to get to the water terraforming portion, and I am going to make just a couple of waterfalls to connect this river with the Soggy Froggy Falls portion and this little cliff over here because I'm going to be adding a diagonal bridge. Woo! Now, those can be kind of difficult at least for me and what i like to do is i try to make sure i have a lot of blocks at least four to five going diagonally on each side and kind of make a very big gap for the bridge to span over because a lot of the times it does not like it when there's not enough space so i just go with more space than i normally think and it worked out for me this time and here is the little waterfall that i'm going to be putting in and uh yeah i'll just let you watch me terraform the rest of the water All right, it's time to plop in the bridge. Let's see how it looks. Ta-da! It looks so cute. I love the cobblestone bridge because I just think it matches the museum vibes really well. So we are going to continue kind of expanding the water. I just wanted to see how the bridge looked before I added any more water to the right, and it ended up extending it just a little bit to make it more 
more natural looking. And then we're going in with the paths. We're going to be making uh, a dirt path kind of for some flowers to go. And then you'll see I make kind of a dirt path leading to the beach. And then I also put in my own custom designs that connect the museum and the cobblestone bridge. And then the other side of the cobblestone bridge, I do put a few more custom designs. So yeah, I'll let you watch that. Oh, and also if you want any of the custom designs that I use, I do have a Google Docs linked in the description of the video and you can look at the list there and see if you like any of the designs that I used and feel free to use them. And now that I've added a bunch of cute little paths, now it's time to go in with some items. I put a bench down there, this cute dinosaur standy up here, and I did remove the tree, but I'm gonna put it right back because it's a cute little apple tree. So I don't know, I thought apples equal smart equal museum. Uh, yeah, that was my uh, thought process going through that. And then down here, I'm gonna have a little bench area and I'm going to line a lot of my fencing with the hedge fencing because I don't know, it just feels kind of nice and a little more well kept, which I think fits the museum vibe. But yeah, you're gonna see me set up a little froggy seating area, fits the rainy theme perfectly. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go in and I'll jump back in when I have anything else important and fun to say. I just wanted to jump in here and say this little portion up here on this cliff I think is one of my favorite little decorated areas with the little Brewster gyroid obviously nodding to Brewster in his cafe in the museum and then also that horned beetle like oh my gosh I think it's so cute but um yeah I'm just adding more touches to this museum area and then we will soon be moving over to the left where the beach is. Alright, and here is the beach portion. I wanted to make this area feel very coastal, obviously adding some beach and watery like items like the boat, but um, I wanted to decorate both this rock and the little sandy area below to be kind of more of like a scientific studying area. Maybe you're studying the wildlife around here, and I just thought it would be super cute to be all like boaty and like, I don't know, cute and uh, 
coastal. Um, you saw Tad was running around. He really seemed to like this area after I built it. But uh, yeah, I wanted to add a lot of real fish and other diving creatures and make it really fun and museum-like. After adding all those fun items, I wanted to place a few pebbles and maybe uh, a few more custom designs on the ground that kind of like lead you around the area just so you don't get too lost when walking around here. But I, yeah, I really enjoyed how this little science area came out. Uh, I think I added so much good variety and height with like the windmill and then also like little tiny items like that, even that bucket. I just think everything felt so cute. And then finally, we're going to come up here to this little cliff and add a few trees just so it doesn't feel barren while walking through to take pretty pictures. All right, and these are the last few touches, and I think adding the snail is the final touch for our build. Yay! Ah, oh, I just love how this build turned out. What do you guys think of my museum? I think it is so beautiful and perfect, especially when we go look at it in the rain.
All right, that is my museum build, the first build of the new year. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This one was so fun to make, and I cannot wait to continue making more fun content, and I will try my best to do so. I just want to thank you all for sticking around and being here for as long as you have, because it's almost been a year since I started this channel, which is crazy to me. Um, I am also still doing my 400 Nook Miles ticket giveaway, and I'll just leave the iCard up here to tell you what to do. Go check out that video. It has all the fun information. And yes, we are going to do a Squishmallow of the day. And the Squishmallow of the day today is going to be my little Game Boy Squishmallow. I got this one over the Christmas season, and I just think it's so cute and gamer-like. Like, I just had to share this with everybody. All right, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.